Here we're going to talk about how to endorse a check to someone else. First things first, what is endorsing a check? Endorsing a check means signing the back of it in order to cash it, deposit it, or to do what we're discussing today, give it to someone else, also known as a third-party endorsement. So, you might be wondering why you would need to endorse a check over to someone else. Imagine you received a check as a birthday gift, but you owe your roommate for utilities. Instead of going to the bank, cashing the check, and then paying your roommate, you can simply endorse the check over to them. That saves you a step. Alright, here are the steps for how to properly endorse a check to another person. First, flip that check over. On the back of the check, you'll find a section usually labeled endorse here. After you flip the check over and focus on this area. Next, you'll need to write, pay to the order of, recipient's full name. Make sure to write legibly and use the full name of the person to whom you're transferring the check. So if you're paying Lisa Reynolds, you'll write, pay to the order of Lisa Reynolds. Below the pay to the order of line, you'll need to sign your name. This is your endorsement, effectively giving your permission to transfer the funds to the third party. Then, once you've properly endorsed the check, you can give it to the other person. Now, here's the thing, that check is as good as cash. So, make sure you trust the person you're giving it to. Also, the recipient will have to endorse the check. They will sign their name below your endorsement to accept it. From there, they can cash or deposit the check into their bank account. Now, you might be asking, is this safe? Well, there are risks involved. If the third party loses the check, it could be cashed by someone else. Also, some banks are wary of third-party checks due to the potential for fraud, so the recipient's bank may hold the funds for an extended period or even refuse to accept the check. Always check with your bank's policy on this and maybe give them a heads up if you're planning on endorsing a check to someone else. Here are some tips. Never sign a check and leave the rest blank. If you only sign the check without adding the pay to the order of, anyone can cash it. That can be risky. Contact both banks. To ensure a smooth transaction, contact both your bank and the recipient's bank to make sure third-party checks are accepted. Keep records. Make a photocopy of the endorsed check or take a picture of it for your records. It's always smart to have a paper trail. Be cautious. Don't endorse checks to third parties unless you absolutely trust them. You're basically giving them cash. So that's how you endorse a check to someone else. While we're all busy doing Venmo and cash apps these days, knowing how to properly endorse a check is still a useful life skill to have.